Good morning, Facebookers, lookers, and lurkers. This is your girl Jen on this Thursday morning here in hot Las Vegas. And I want to talk to you about he's not picking on you. You know, oftentimes I've heard people say, God's not hearing me or God's punishing me. He's mad at me. That's why I, things aren't going the way I need them to go. That's why I'm suffering is because God is picking on me. Well, as I thought about that, it led me to the book of Job. We all know the story of Job, even if you're not a Bible, an avid Bible reader. We all kind of know the general story of Job. Um, but it led me to chapter 33, where Job says, God is picking a quarrel with me, and he considers me his enemy. That's verse 10. If you skip down to verse 12, his friend Elihu says, But you're wrong, and I will show you why. For God is greater than any human being. So why are you bringing charge against him? Why, does, why say God does not respond to people's complaints? For God speaks again and again, though people do not recognize it. Now here's the thing. As I thought about what Job was going through, what was Job's greatest test? It wasn't the pain. It wasn't the suffering. It wasn't the loss. It was his desire to know why. Think about it. If God had told Job, okay, look, you're going to be tested by Satan. And you're going to go through all these things, but you're going to be okay in the end. Now, my question is, is that really a test if he already knows what the outcome is? I don't think so. I think that Job's greatest test was indeed not knowing and having to trust God. And I, th th But that's just me. I might be wrong. You know, walk with me on this thing. But I want to tell you that even if you're praying and you don't hear God's voice, perhaps it's because you're being too busy. Perhaps it's because you're too loud. Because... Job chapter 33, verse 14 says, Plain as day, for God speaks again and again, though people do not recognize it. Verse 15, he speaks in dreams and vision of night, when deep sleep falls on people as they lie in their beds. He whispers in their ears. He provides, terrifies them with warnings. He makes them turn from wrongdoing, and he keeps them from pride. He protects them from the grave, from crossing over the river of death. It's very simple. He says he's going to be there. He's going to answer you. But sometimes we have to be quiet. We have to be still. Anyway, I'm going to get on my way to work. Good morning, September, Timothy, Richard, Mercedes. I see you guys. Have a fantastic day. I'm on my way out. And be blessed. Talk to you later. Bye.